Hello! It's been a really long time since I've filmed anything. Probably filmed this video back in September and I just haven't had the time to uh, sit down and edit it. Just been really busy with school and stuff. Haven't worked on a puzzle since probably Christmas so I'm on reading week now and I'm hoping to get like at least two or three videos up this week of stuff that I filmed months ago and hopefully work on a puzzle or two. So as you probably would have seen from the title, this one is Crystals by Cloudberries. It's the first Cloudberries puzzle I've worked on and spoiler alert, I really really liked it. Um, super pretty colors, lots of pastels. Um, I also used to collect rocks as a kid so this was relevant to my past interests. It took me a really long time to get started on this puzzle because I sorted the absolute shit out of it. I sorted all of the crystals individually, which was tricky because some of the shapes within the crystals are repeated elsewhere. And then I sorted the background pieces. Um, it's kind of hard to tell from the video, but the background is a gradient with very, very light pastel colors. So I tried to sort them into like blue, purple, yellow, pink, and there was a little bit of green. Overall, I'm really happy with Cloudberries as a brand. Like I said, it was my first time working on a puzzle from them, but I really like the quality. Um, the only thing I was not a fan of is the texture of the pieces. I do like the matte finish that they had, which made it really easy to, to stare at the puzzles for a long time because there wasn't really any glare to them. But because they don't have like the glossy smooth finish on top, they almost felt sticky in a way. So when I was done the puzzle, I actually wiped the surface of it with like a wet wipe or like a baby wipe just to kind of clean off the puzzle dust because unfortunately a lot of the puzzle dust ended up sticking to the pieces. The only other thing I can think of as a con is the piece shapes are not the most unique. Um, like they have all the standard shapes but I just mean that the pegs and the blanks are not the most unique so I did have to remove some pieces where they didn't end up going and move them elsewhere. Um, but this was mostly just a problem with the pastel background pieces because they were so light. So I think that's just kind of a problem I was having with my own personal eyesight or lack thereof. Um, since doing this one, I have done the crystals puzzle and not had this problem. So I think it was just the types of colors. I can kind of deal with that as well as the uh, stickiness of the pieces because I really, really love all of Cloudberry's artwork. Like, they are definitely my favorite when it comes to their images and I'll definitely be um, purchasing more of their puzzles in the future. And their customer service was amazing. Um, I actually had my order get lost in the mail and they sent me two brand new puzzles free of charge. Um, really no questions asked. It was really, really awesome. I didn't expect that. I was just kind of um, I don't even know what I was expecting, but I wasn't expecting that, and that really impressed me from a company that I've never bought from before. So I'll definitely be looking for their stuff again. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, hopefully I'll be able to have some more out soon. Thanks for watching.